Hello, a beautiful day to you from wherever you're watching this from and you're welcome to the 15th day of the 50 days fasting and prayers of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I know God has been renewing your strength and he has been supporting you through from the first day to the 14th day and I pray that all your prayers will be answered and all your requests, personal and general, will also be answered in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Most High God, we thank you for the privilege of life today, for sparing our lives in your mercy and for giving us the opportunity to call upon you at all times. Thank you also, O oh God, for always answering us when we call. Blessed be your holy name. Today, once more, Father, visit us afresh and do great and mighty things in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You are welcome to this channel. My name is Olumide Odesanya. If this is your first time of coming to this channel, please do well to like this video, subscribe to the channel so that you can get other videos that we'll be sharing with you on this platform. So our prayer point for today, day number 15, is titled, Arise, O Lord, for our restoration. Arise, O Lord, for our restoration. And our text is taken from Job chapter 20, verse 15. We'll be reading two texts. Job chapter 20, verse 15 being the first one. The Bible says, Job chapter 20, verse 15. The Bible says, He that swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. And the second text we are reading is taken from Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. It says, Call unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So God has promised us that when we call, he will answer us, especially for the restoration of whatever it is we have lost or whatever it is the devil has stolen from us. And that will be your testimony as we pray and mind in the name of Jesus. So our first prayer point says that we should praise and worship our God for who he is. So let's just begin to give grace praise and glory to God for what he has done, for who he is in our lives. He's the almighty God. He never fails. His power is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. When he speaks, it is done. His word is yes and amen. Father, Lord, we thank you for who you are. You are God. You are not a man. You would not lie. You are the God of all flesh with whom there is no impossibility. Lord, we thank you for all these great attributes of yours that give us confidence in the answers to our prayers. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Prayer number two, praise and worship our God for the creation power of heavens, the earth and everything therein. Father, we praise and worship you for the creation power that is in you, that you used in making the heaven, the earth and everything that is in it. Lord, we thank you because you are the God of all creation who made all things by your power, who sustains all things by your power, who fills all things by your power, who operates all things by your power, from heaven to the earth and to underneath the earth and everything in the earth. Lord, we thank you for all power belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number three. Let us praise God for his marvelous works on the face of the earth. Father, Lord, for your marvelous works upon the face of the earth, we say praise be to your name. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You've done so much for us, we cannot tell it all. Father, we thank you for your great works upon the earth. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer point number four. Let us thank God for his mercy and goodness in our lives and families. Lord, we thank you for your mercy and goodness in our lives and families. It is of your mercy that we have not been consumed because your compassion does not fail. Over our lives, over our homes, our spouses, our children, our relatives, our loved ones, Lord, we say thank you for your mercy and goodness. All good and perfect gifts that we enjoy, Lord, are all from you. We thank you for these blessings upon our lives and upon our homes. Be thou exalted, Father, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number five. Let us thank God for his goodness and mercy 
in his church. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and mercy in your church. Indeed, your church is much and not making progress, and the gates of hell has not been able to prevail and will never prevail. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and your mercies upon your church, for fighting for your church, for being good to your church, for answering prayers in your church, for turning people's lives around when they come into the church. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and mercy upon your church. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Prayer point number six. Let us begin to confess our sins and carelessness that gave the enemies opportunities to sow tears and steal from us. Lord, we ask, O oh God, for mercy. We ask, O oh God, for mercy for every form of carelessness. Carelessness in the place of prayer, carelessness in not seeking you and being distracted by all other things in the world, carelessness of not being focused on you as the all-powerful God, carelessness of not doing your will, even as you have stated in your word. Lord, we ask for mercy. In any way we had perpetrated any form of carelessness that had allowed the enemy to enter into our midst to steal from us, Lord, please be merciful. Have mercy on your church, Lord, so that there will be restoration, there will be revival. Lord, be merciful unto us for all sins and for all forms of carelessness that had allowed the enemies to penetrate your church. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Father, for answering us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number seven. Let us approach the throne of grace and ask for God's mercy. He will abundantly pardon us. Lord, we come boldly on behalf of your church. I come boldly on behalf of the family of this fellow that is watching me over there. I come boldly on our behalf, O oh God, and I ask for mercy. Lord, be merciful unto us. Please pardon us. We come boldly before you today and we ask that your mercy will prevail over every form of judgment. That in any way we've gone contrary to your will, in any way you have disobeyed, disobeyed you, in any way we have fallen short of your glory. Father, our prayer is that you will have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We come boldly to obtain mercy for help in time of need. According to your word in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, Lord, be merciful unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number eight, ask God to be merciful unto you for past seemingly good decisions and actions, but which has now kept you or your valuables in bondage. Lord, be merciful unto me, be merciful unto us. Lord, every one of us watching this, be merciful unto us, Lord, that in whatsoever way we have taken seemingly good decisions that has made the enemies to gain access into our lives. The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is destruction. Every way that seemeth good, that seemeth right, that we have told or followed, and is, has led to the enemies gaining access to our valuables and denying us of some things that belong to us, or stealing from us, Lord, we ask that your mercy will speak for us right now. Please reverse the seemingly irreversible good things that we have done, but Lord, are keeping us down. Be merciful unto us. And let a new season begin for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number eight. Ask God never to cease to always rebuke and correct you in love until he makes a masterpiece out of your life. Lord, we ask of you in the name of Jesus, do not be tired of rebuking us. Do not be tired of correcting us in love whenever we err. Lord, that you may make a masterpiece out of our lives that we may make our lives exceptional, our lives bring forth your glory, because you refine your own in the furnace of affliction. Father, that your purifying fire will keep working on us. You will not give up on us. Father, you will not leave us alone. In the name of Jesus, that your perfect work will be accomplished in our lives, in our homes and families. Lord, please do not leave us alone. We ask that you keep working on us on the perfection to make our lives masterpieces. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Prayer point number 10. Let us see our picture in the mirror of the scripture and recount what we have lost as individual and family. Many have lost their health. Many have lost their peace. Many their joy. Many fruitfulness. Many have lost their wealth. So let's ask God for all round restoration in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for all round restoration. Your word tells us, 
according to Joel chapter 2 from verse 25, that you restore to us the years that the locusts and the palmer worms had eaten. Lord Jesus, let there be restoration. That in any way, in any way we have lost anything to the devil, Lord, we ask for restoration today. Lord, every good thing we have lost from our health, to our peace, to our joy, to our resources, to our wealth, to our fruitfulness. Lord, all around, let there be total restoration. You are the God of restoration. Please restore to us everything we have lost. Lord, I pray for this, my brother, my sister, watching and listening right now, that every good thing that they have lost in their lives will be restored ten times more and over. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Prayer point... Prayer point number 12. Prayer point number 12. But we're going to take prayer point number 11 first. Ask God to open your eyes to things in your possession which you must restore to the rightful owners for your own restoration to be established. Ask God that everything in your possession that you must release and return to the owner that you must restitute of. That God will open your eyes to see them and that he will help you to return them to the owners. In the name of Jesus, that your own restoration may be complete. Lord, we pray that everything that is in our possession that is not supposed to be, that we have wrongfully, illegally taken, unknowingly, even the ones we knew about, we pray for mercy, strength, to return them to the owner so that our own restoration will be complete. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number, number 12. Thank God for mercy in sparing your life despite your carelessness and ignorance in a harboring spiritual contrabands or accursed things. So let's ask, let's speak to God that he would please help us, have mercy upon us. Thank him for sparing your life despite any way or the other that you have harbored anything that is accursed, anything that is spiritually accursed that you have held on to, that is speaking against you, that is speaking against your restoration. That according to the word of God in Joshua chapter 7 verse 1, when the children of Israel took their cursed thing and allowed the enemies to plunder them, that, and allowed the enemies to defeat them, that God will be merciful unto you, that anything that is in your possession that is not supposed to be, that is causing the enemies to attack and afflict you, the Almighty God will help you to let go of them, that your restoration may be complete and that which belongs to you may be given to you. Receive grace, receive strength, receive the mercy of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 13, you will pray for the grace of obedience for restitution and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, we pray for the grace for obedience and guidance for restitution. Grace to obey your voice, that nudging, that inspiration we are given to us to restore and to restitute our ways to align with you so that you can restore to us everything we have lost. We receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Let the grace be made available to us to obey you in the name of Jesus and to be guided by your spirit in doing the needful restitution that the expected restoration from you may, be all, may become our portion. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 14. God caused Abraham to regain Sarah in addition to other goods. Pray earnestly for divine restoration for every treasures and virtues you had lost one time or the other. Lord, we pray for restoration. That everything we have lost at a time in our lives, Lord, shall be restored to us. We pray for grace for restoration. In the name of Jesus, that everything we have lost, we ask, O oh God, that there will be complete restoration for us. Every treasure, every good thing of life that is meant for our benefiting and profiting, that we have lost in the past, Lord, we ask that there shall be complete and total restoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And lastly, prayer point number 50, you say, Father, terrorize any strong man harboring things that are rightly mine to me, restore them in the name of Jesus. Father, terrorize any strong man harboring things that are rightly mine. To me, let him restore them now in the name of Jesus. Lord, terrorize everyone, every strong man, strong woman, 
either spiritual or physical, manifesting in any dimension that is sitting on that which belongs to me. I pray, Lord, for these, my brother, sister, watching every terrorist of your life, sitting on your possession, sitting on every good thing that God has planned and proposed for you, that that strong man would be unsat by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. God will terrorize them out of their hidden places. They are strangers in your life. They will take their leave in Jesus' name, beginning from today. Everything that is due you, that the enemy has sat on, that the enemy has forcefully withdrawn from you, there shall be the power of resurrection upon them right now, and it shall be restored to you. And the enemies in charge, the Lord will displace them as it brings you to your own place of honor, fulfillment, and total restoration. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Lord, we thank you for answers to our prayers. We know that after this, our testimony of restoration will begin. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you very much for watching, for listening, and for praying along. I am very sure that before the end of this fasting and prayers, you will begin to share your testimony. So when it happens, share on this platform. And please, you can also drop your prayer points here so that we can pray together with you. And we believe that your joy will be full in Jesus' name. My name is Olumide Odesfaya. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it together with other people. Till I come your way again tomorrow, God bless you and have a great time. In Jesus' name, amen.